is a yes. You didn't cry on Saturday? I'm sure you cried. I did not cry. I immediately left the bar and I almost freaked out. Okay. Bro, you're a psychopath. <laughs> you're in a jail. No, I really am. Like a barstool rundown topic. Like, Duke fan goes to jail. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Coach K lost the game. Make him a bitch. Oh, but it's 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 legendary. That's that's gonna be talked about forever. That he basically tarnished his legacy. Yes. You yes. The last game ever versus arch rival is supposed to be this huge homecoming, and he pissed in his mouth. That's what he did. To so fucking douchey. The people crying afterwards. Fucking losers. I can't believe that Duke has the the fan base that it has because I know they win. But everything about them is so fucking unlikable and lame. I get a text from Eddie yesterday being like, do you want to come on the Dave Portnoy show? And I was like, why? <laughs> what, is, what is going on here? And he was like, no, I just, like, I've been meaning to have you on for a while. And I was like, okay. Um, I was like, should I come, like, ready for a war? Or, like, what's going on? He was like, no, no, I just want to, like, he was like, I just figured you might have some things you want to air out too, or some gripes, and I was like, I'm not going to go on this show and just randomly pick a fight about shit, I don't know what's going on, so my prediction is that, my prediction is that it's going to be like, like, okay, like, bang, bang, welcome to the Dave Porno Show, we got KFC on the show, and Dave's going to be like, alright, so what's up, and I'm going to be like, what, you had me on your show, and he's going to be like, I didn't have you on your show, Eddie picked me, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie had you on the show, and then, and then it's going to be up to Eddie to do what he wants with it, so. I guess I'm trying to remember. Dave said when he hated doing radio with me, and I, and I feel like that show was hard because it was like I knew two hours every day we were gonna butt heads, we were gonna argue, we were gonna, you know, whatever. But I also knew that's what people wanted. So to me, I was thinking of it like I'm a showman. I got to put on like a show for the people. Um, and I would walk out of there, you know, sometimes being like Dave's a fucking idiot. But I would never walk out of there being like. I hate that show. Like, to me, it was... And that might be my, like, radio background. Like, Sirius was strange, because Sirius wasn't, like, considered this, you know, uh, like, this royalty radio channel. You know what I mean? Like, WFA1 was. It was, like, kind of just, like, the channel we put together. What's up? Did you go on for Tim Cobb at that? <laughs> I actually forgot, I forgot to mention it. it. Eddie was like, you want to come on the show? And I was like, what... What's going on here? Uh -oh, and, and I, I to all like to Austin to, to Kareem, I was like, "What's going on here?" They were like, "I don't know, I don't." Know. And then Dave, he literally put his hands up. He's like, "I don't know what's going on." I think he, uh, Eddie, just wanted to like stir the pot and try to get me to talk business and shit like that. <laughs> but it went fine. But he hates me like poison. Um, but I would, uh, to me, like I got a drive time radio show in New York with Dave, like two hours in the in the evening. That was something growing up, like you know, listening to Francesa and the fan, that was like, you know, my dream. But I don't think he ever, he doesn't think that way. He was just like, it's just something I got to do for the company. So to me, I was always a little more like, whatever, this show is a grind, but that's what we do. That is Mike and the Mad Dog. That is, you know, they did grow to hate each other. I guess he, uh, he just hates me more. <laughs> Can you explain real quick what we're doing? Uh, so in order to get subscribers for the YouTube challenge, um, I'll be doing a PSA uh, for Beard Cover Ugly, which is a disease many people are afflicted with, but Kevin perhaps more than anybody. I don't think that's true, but I'm going to push that narrative. Because um, he started it. It wasn't me. He's, he started being like, John needs a beard. No, I don't. Everyone needs a beard. But Kevin started that narrative, so I'll, really, I'll roll with it. Um, so we're going to do a PSA. It's going to be kind of a Sarah McLaughlin, um, I don't know, you know, the pot-bellied kids with the bugs in their eyes, that kind of, that commercial, that one, that kind of mashup. Um, but yeah, beer cover ugly, hashtag, uh, what is it, hashtag, one click, one share, one cause. <laughs> and, and we're going to, we're going to knock this fucking disease out, but we're going to start with Kevin, and then from there... Just a nice fucking snowball effect of who we will save. And when we'll save them. Unfortunately. <laughs>
Fuck, man. This is going to be hard. <clears throat> All right. Fuck it. Let's go, baby. <laughs> 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 Long before he was ever called Hot Kev, that boy KFC, or Tom Brady's retarded brother, he was known as other things. Grotesque. Atrocious. Down there, fucking disgusting. <laughs> Grotesque. Atrocious. Downright fucking disgusting for some reason. That's so mean. <laughs> Grotesque. Atrocious. Downright fucking. <laughs> Thank you for helping me and Rick, two guys with perfect, beautiful beards, knock out beard covers ugly. Think he's gonna like that? I think he's gonna like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, thoughts on the video? Oh, I didn't watch it. <laughs> I don't give views to my competitors. Okay. <laughs> I, I've heard tale of, of the, the general theme of it, but I didn't watch it. <laughs> sure, it's it's mildly funny, just like Feidelberg. <laughs> so, um, we might be adopting a kid. Well, you... Okay, Cerrito's gonna adopt a kid. <laughs> yep. Off. We went to uh, we went to the Big East last night. We were at the Team Impact charity event, and what they do is they connect kids, mostly with athletes. They have them do like a signing day. They become a manager of the team. They become like a mascot. They hang out with the athletes. We're gonna we're gonna sign one. We're gonna yeah. sign ourselves a kid. <laughs> we gotta find a kid with some incredibly cool parents. Find some uh, age appropriate material for him. But we're gonna have ourselves a KFC Radio mascot between the ages of like nine and fifteen. <laughs> It's gonna be great. We're gonna make this kid a fucking star. This kid's gonna have like 250,000 followers overnight. We're gonna make this guy an internet celebrity. I've just been asking what our Roblox plan is. There we go. There we go. We got a kid. We got a fucking kid. There you go. <laughs> this is our kid, Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> The hat looks extra big today. Oh, reason. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I think it's growing. But if you are watching, uh, you can see my fucking fresh-ass hat. Now, this hat right here, let me, show the, let me show the... Maybe you can zoom in on that right there. This hat has the, 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 the New York State flower, which is a rose. Didn't know that. We've got the Empire State across the top here, the state outline, and the Big Apple... Freshest hat in the game right now. My son Keegan picked out this hat for my birthday. And uh, so now I will be wearing this hat for pretty much like the rest of time. Because when your kid gets you a gift like this, what more can you do than turn it into a giant joke and wear it everywhere you go? <laughs> <laughs> it looks so much bigger. Dude, I, as I was walking to the, to, to the office, um, since we're near the garden, a bunch of like bros are going to the Big East tournament. And we're just, we were just standing at the the corner waiting for the light to change and this guy just looks over at me and goes I like the hat <laughs> like <laughs> thing is getting more and more ridiculous by the second happen to look at Stu Finer's now deleted tweet because it's wildly inappropriate Stu <laughs> oh, that one maybe we should have kept in the chamber I mean in general all of Stu's tweets are wildly inappropriate but this one super problematic on my anniversary it's only fitting that uh, the pig I am I rate my hottest women at Barcelona sports top 10 this is we first of all, couldn't even filter. crack the I'm top ten wearing... of Stu Finer, girl. I don't think that he knows. I don't think I'm like. Oh, on he doesn't know your I don't think he like knows who I am. I feel like if he knew, uh, if he Jay knew Nick's four fifteen, that maybe this is rude to film this. I'm not wearing makeup today. Just if anybody's, you know. Um, <laughs> I don't even care. No, I like. No, I don't yeah, totally. Care. It looks like you don't care at all. No, I, I, and totally uh, cause women support women, and True. so you know. You know what it is? It's you really, are a woman. Like, this is what it's about right here. But. Since it's International Women's Day, I, I made this for you. You are a so, woman? That's yeah. not even like. Yeah, so you can like, we can like hold this up or we can hang it over your head and we'll take a picture. You know what, I'll, I'll just hold it over your head. And but how is that celebrate? It's not even like being complimentary. It's just well, saying I mean, that it's I am a woman. International Women's Day and you are in fact a woman, so. 
you know. But how? It's like happy day for you. I feel like you think that this is a better day. gesture than it is. It doesn't really like show your support for me at all. <laughs> um, I don't think that he. I don't. It's. I've never talked to him. He's. You know. I think that. Probably because you're not. I'm gonna, gonna go <laughs> by him. And I'm gonna show my tits. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's gonna come into work on Monday fucking naked. Whenever Sue's in the office, just all of a sudden she's gonna be like doing all this content. Next time he's in the office, I'm literally just gonna walk by. Honestly, I think it's fair to say that out of every show and every franchise, nobody crams more into every week than KFC Radio. Just look at the past couple weeks. We dropped new pairs of sneakers. We dropped multiple live shows. We had Mark Wahlberg, Boys Week. This week we had Shane Gillis, Tommy Pope, Chris O'Connor. We had uh, we switched over Kevin Clancy's show to uh, live on YouTube. We didn't ask me anything. We're on sale in Philly, Boston, soon to be Chicago. Uh, non-stop here at KFC Radio, and that's what these vlogs capture every week. So if you want to keep catching our behind-the-scenes action, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any vlogs. Make sure you click the bell icon so you get any updates when these videos drop, and make sure you like and comment. Tell your friends! KFC Radio Vlog every week on Saturday.